All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Everything is still messed up as you can see, so I'm not entirely sure what will happen. Okay, that that's a that's a good start, I suppose. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. What's gonna happen? We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently and I would get tired of waiting up. Hold on, am I... Am I recording? Yes, okay, thank god. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and, and idle in front of the crosswalk and let <coughs> catch up to me. Mm, missing go. Missing no. It's an ordinary school day, like any other. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. How am I gonna get into the Doki Doki Literature Club? Cause she, you know... I have no motivation to join any clubs, see? Exactly. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway. Well, you don't know that. The school day is as ordinary as ever and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Level Joy? Monica! Monica! Oh my goodness, I totally didn't expect you to expect to see you here. Let's see if I remember these voices. It's been a while, right? Um, yeah, it has. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Ugh, wow, I need to read. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. And she knows stuff. I know for sure that she knows things. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for anyway? Oh, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I guess you could check the closet. You're in the debate club, right? Uh, about that. I actually quit the debate club. Really? You quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity of how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Literature? That sounds kind of... dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. It's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know. Literature can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry? I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. And besides, a member is a member, right? Oh, by the way, I have to check something. Okay, a while ago I started a poll on Twitter asking you who I should go for. And a lot of people told me to go for Sayori. But I honestly don't know how to do that right now since she seems to have vanished from the game. But the other, the second highest voted character was Natsuki. So I think I'm gonna go with uh, Natsuki now. So I guess I can try that. Bit of a compromise. Sounds good. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did Monica say she? Huh. Hey, Level Joy. By any chance, are you still looking for a club to join? 
Um, I mean, I guess so, but in that case, is there any chance you could do me a big favor? I won't ask you to join, but if you could be at the if you could at the very least visit my club, it would make me really happy. Please. Um Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? Sure, I guess I could check it out. <laughs> awesome! You're really sweet, level joy, do you know that? It's nothing really. Shall we go then? I'll look for the materials another time. You're more important. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I timidly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! <laughs> and I brought a guest with me. Okay. Uh, a guest? Seriously? You brought a boy! Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't mean me, Natsuki. But anyway, welcome to the club, Level Joy. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? Wow. Well, no, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Right, Natsuki, that's the one you voted for, so that's the one I'm going for. Just in case, you know, my friend doesn't come back from whatever limbo she's in. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, anyway, this is Natsuki, energetic as usual. And this is Yuri, the vice president. It's nice to meet you. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, I ran into Level Joy in a classroom and he decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Didn't I tell you to let me know in advance before you brought anyone new? I was going to... well, you know. Sorry, sorry. I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Level Joy? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Yuri walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across the room, sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take the seat next to Monica. So, I know you didn't really plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised these aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. I'm just trying to think... You know, what... What is going to happen here? Are, are they all going to disappear somehow? Are they all going to, I don't know, die maybe? And what kind of mess will that leave me with? Okay, okay. This this might get interesting. I, I, by the way, I'm sorry for this little break here, but I've been avoiding spoilers like the plague and it's difficult. For the love of God, if you ever become a YouTuber, do not put spoilers in your titles. I beg of you. Okay, back to the tea. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Um, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated, Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that's not... Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. 
Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, level joy, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, um, considering how little I've read in this past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's hat suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. N not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seemed so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Uh, I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is that so? Really, if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror! Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind! That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! I give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No. Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel more comfortable enough to share hers. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. I mean, I thought this was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of Vice President, after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club, as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Level Joy? Hold on, there's still one problem. Um, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um... I lose my train of thought. All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... Uh, I'm sorry, I thought... Ugh! Um, the girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I guess I need to tell you the truth, Level Joy. 
The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. And I've been trying really, really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... No, there's a bigger price, dude. Run. Go join the anime club or something. Alright. Okay. I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that? Yes. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left... Oh, well, wait. <clears throat> that took his voice as demanding. If you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to have to give you a great time, okay? Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remembers tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Level Joy, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Mitsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Oh god, I'm thinking of all the options I'm having right now, and, I, and I'm pretty sure it's going to affect the next playthrough I'm going to be doing. Part of me kind of, you know, I want to go for Natsuki because that's what you voted for, so that's what I'm probably gonna do. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. But part of me kind of wants to go with... Yuri, because maybe now that the other girl is gone, you know, that might develop into something different. And of course, Monica. Yeah, Monica I'm, I'm particularly curious about, but I don't mind leaving that one for last. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Okay. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? Yes, I would. A dream. Oh. Oh, sorry if you pick up some of that noise. A dream. I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost, looking for an exit. I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room. Its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side. Or to a wall. Anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of intermediate wise. Inter... Indeterminate... In... Indeterminate... Wise. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which, was, which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid and the sounds of my splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel the damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were already getting tired. Okay. Interesting. I didn't know you could unlock poems. Alright. Hey, where's... Where's Monica? Where's the little Monica chibi that's supposed to be over here? That is weird. That is something weird. Okay, are we still recording good? Yes, we are. So, what am I gonna go with? I'm gonna go with Rainbow. Rainbow skipping. Sugar. Sugar. Sugar what? Sugar treasure. Kawaii! Um, 
I've been, I've been watching a lot of cringe compilations, and don't get me wrong, I'm fine with what everybody does. Hop. But it's still funny to watch for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe I hate myself. Maybe that's why I watch those. But there's a lot of um, weeaboo, like people who are extremely into anime. And I actually like that type of hobby. But some of, I don't know, some of the cringe compilations are just so funny. Bubbles. Let's see, bouncy. Um, cute. I'm kind of making a three, uh, 180 compared to what I did last time. Kitty. Did I respond when I click a word? Twirl. Yes, she does. Oh my god, I can actually tell. I like Doki Doki. Uh, play. Uh, playground. Like, I don't know what that means. Like, she, Yuri is moving away. Does that mean I'm, like, doing something negative? Am I really controlling everything with these few words? So, daydream. Oh, shit, what was that? Did you see her face? Yuri made an unbelievable face there. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm still kind of freaked out by the whole situation here because it's so weird. I don't know, for some reason I find um, glitches a type of scary. I guess that's something from my childhood. I was afraid of viruses and stuff. You know, actual computer viruses and stuff. For some reason I found that idea so scary. Sunny. God, how many more? Okay, one more. Um, fluffy. Oh, one more. Um, dance. There we go. That should be sweet enough for Natsuki to like. Hi again, Level Joy. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ah, uh, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Oh. Uh. Oh, something bad's gonna happen with Yuri. I just know it. Thanks for keeping your promise, Level Joy. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment to you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Lucky deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged in here Ma by Monica. I don't know if you plan just to come here and hang out or what, but if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Um... Natsuki certainly have big mouth for someone who keeps manga collection in the club room. Oh, that's Monica. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Level Joy. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway. Not that you're in the club and all. Perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Oh, wait. Uh, I didn't mean it like that. If you don't really want to, then forget anything I said, I guess. Uh, no, it's not that, Yuri. I just want to be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Uh, are you sure? I just felt like... Well, as vice president and all. That I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention. Even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want it. This... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book and she thinks I'll like this... She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you, I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own place. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Ugh! I hear Natsuki utter an exasperated sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for something in there? 
fucking Monica. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't um I don't think we have that in there. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Atsuki slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Um, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you can't admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. How did you know anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a lone volume of manga amidst the stacks of various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, uh, much better. Seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the m oh, sorry. Irritating side in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. Parfait girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge, you can go through the glass on that door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Level Joy. Consider this a less. Oh, don't judge a book. Okay. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show. <clears throat> I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Uh, I get a feeling like this game is also pushing me in the direction that I want to go. Because, you know, this extra conversation with Natsuki and all. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. Oh no, that's probably because I chose those words. It's exceedingly... Mo. Don't just stand there! Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pets on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs won't work! We can't read at the same time like that. Um, why's that? Uh, I, I guess it's easier to be closer together like this. D don't just say that! You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's a not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Whoa, how long has it been since I read the beginning? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes, after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with something else. Someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Huh? You don't? Um, that's not. Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Uh, sorry. Look, I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Uh, you still haven't grown out of that yet? It makes me want to punch them in the face. Uh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot, a whole lot of effort to find friends who don't judge much less friends who are also into it. What? It takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are... Okay, yeah, now I'm getting that. Construction. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. 
But it's probably harder for someone like you. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't even keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. Ah, right, we're getting into the other girl's problems. Hold on, let me just save here, because... What? Where's my... My saves! My saves are gone! Okay. Well, screw that. My All of my saves are gone. I had, like, one especially saved at the last one, remember? Everything is just gone. God, this game is already messing with me. What am I saying? This game was messing with me from the beginning. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica is kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am, reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So? Jeez, that's enough! Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Dot dot dot. Time passes. Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki! Yeah? Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Ah, oh, that's lovely. I wonder if it would have been... You know, if I would have write, written a cutie poem at the very beginning, if, if this would have been normal. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Obviously not. Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. She tro throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to give... Ugh. She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, level Joy, she's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, why don't we all share poems now? Who should I show my poem to first? I want to show it to Natsuki first. It's written for her, after all. I'm curious about Yuri's feedback, by the way. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably only fair if I share mine with her first. Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Natsuki rereads my poem. N never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Um, then what's the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Well, that's not that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. You're so... You just... You, you don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Fine. Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try. But that's about it. Yeah, I like this one. Yeah. I told you, you aren't gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well... Because... Everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? 
Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Oh, yeah, sorry. I did. <laughs> yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So, I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but that made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So he did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I really don't care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Alright, Yuri. Let's take a look. If it's a long poem, I'm not gonna read it all the way because I read it the first time. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes more than enough time for her to finish reading. Oh, sorry. I, I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. Uh, I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Um, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that might... I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? I I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical for new writers. I haven't been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize is in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finishes, finds, her tra finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little bit biased though. Biased? How? Um, well... Never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself or me or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be a literature club? Okay, ghost in the light, the tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It must be this one, the last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, breathing air of the present but living in the past. The light flickers, I flicker back. Um, sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. I, was, I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you a long time to read. Well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting's pretty. Um, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. <laughs> Sorry, hiccup. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Uh-huh. Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Evelejoy. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. 
But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in our last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. I changed her voice a little bit, I think. Monica. Monica, my main girl. Hi, level joy. Hold on. Okay, that's still going well. Okay. Having a good time so far? Yeah. Good, glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Don't worry, Level Joy. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I feel like her dialogue is cryptic, but maybe that's just because I'm suspicious of her. I hand Monica my poem. I like it, Level Joy. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Ah, oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something Natsuki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So, take that as a compliment. If you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Atsuki, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Natsuki's dad... Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. So she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Well, that's quite a thing to say in the middle of a class that was probably entrusted to you. Like earlier. This is just a guess, but I think she is so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know. Well, why didn't you call the police? Or, you know, a counselor at school, or, you know, anyone. Or maybe she has an eating disorder or something, you know, that, that this could be potentially dangerous. Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall. But he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissip dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right here. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. Was this one different? So what do you think? It's very free form, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. It's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. We're performing out loud. It can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. 
Just force yourself to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Oh god. It sounds out of tune. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration, My meanwhile Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Um, did, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Um, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. It just meant the language, I guess. Uh, I was trying to say something nice. Um, you mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't... It really didn't come out nice at all. Well, I, I do have a couple of suggestions. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Monica liked it, and Levelljoy did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time ex establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. And Level Joy liked my poem too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. That's not what I... You just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe. You're just jealous that Level Joy appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Uh, and how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Level Joy started showing up. Natsuki! Um, that's okay, that's a little... This doesn't involve you. Taking out your own insecurities on others like that, you really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Me? Look who's talking, you wanna be edgy, bitch! Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know? If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? Oh my god. The- oh my god. I'm sorry I forgot the name, but the other girl is not around. The other girl is not around to stop this. The only cute thing about you is how hard you try. Ugh, be careful or you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? Uh, kind of- Ah, oh, damn I, I thought she did last time, uh, in the last playthrough, I thought she did, but I didn't want to say it. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Level Joy hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be head over heels for you after this. Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she just noticed I was standing there. Level Joy? She's, she is just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. How did I get dragged on with whomever? Oh my god. Oh. Okay. 
Shit, Joyce. Uh, and I can't save anymore. That went too fast. Okay. I I said I was gonna go with Natsuki, so I I I suppose. I I click Natsuki. I'm still clicking Natsuki. What is happening? Monica, what are you doing? Why? Oh, I can still... Um... Hey, Level Joy? Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay. Okay. Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. Hold on, let me, let me, let me... Let me save. Not that it matters, because this will just disappear anyway. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Some president am I, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in a desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Level Joy? Please don't hate me. Please? Uh, um, I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. Hold on, hold on. Am I still recording properly? Oh my god, um, I've almost been recording for over an hour. That's fine, that's fine though. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. Completely. Yeah. No. A anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so... Please let me take that responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Level Joy. It would just be embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble, but I really appreciate you understand. What? Okay. So we kind of skipped over that, apparently. But I'm gonna have to save and end this episode here. This is taking a turn for the interesting. My god, it really is. God, I, I don't know what to think at this point. I mean, there's so many problems from everyone coming forward right now. I mean, I really like that this game discusses several things. I don't know how well it it's going to discuss it yet. But I like at least that it's... Um, Touching on to a couple of sensitive subjects. So we will see where this will lead the next time. So thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for the gap between episodes here. I am working on my final project to hopefully, eventually graduate. Hopefully by March. Fingers crossed. But anyway, thank you so much for your patience. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!